Okay. We're, we're going to be working with more than this, just, but this is what we have. And then the whatever forevers are over here. I actually have an idea for once. Hello, everyone. Um, so I have a little, just like a one thing I want to test, basically. And then hopefully should be able to get... In fact, I might even start the manicure and then do the testing because we're going to want the base coat or the base color rather fully dry but um let me get a tweet out in a discord to let everyone know that i am live um and of course if you are in the future watching on youtube and you think joining live sounds like it might be fun. I invite you to uh, pop on over to twitch.tv slash MSLP and, and join us live. Sign up for notifications and all that good sort of stuff. Or not. I, I never want to like pressure people or like beg. I just want to like inform people that like I don't know. I've had I've had a couple comments where it seems like people think that it's live on YouTube and it's like it's not it's not it's never live on YouTube. Um, it's always just an archive of a stream that was live, but it's not anymore. Anyway, um, Discord. Well, a bit earlier than my scheduled time, but a bit later than I guessed to I was going to be. I was going to say early, but that's it's not completely accurate. Okay. Discord, you are done. I wonder if I should do a little bit of... My nails are actually looking pretty good. I was trying to remember if I maintenance filed them last time. Um, hi, Polish Soul. Last time I was between manicures and I kind of don't remember. Oof, I just flaked off a little flake from that nail. Don't do that. If your nails are peeling, you should not encourage them to peel more but I do have a little, yeah, you can kind of see. That's where I peeled it. Um, there's maybe just a couple little spots I could just even up a little bit. And doing a little bit of maintenance filing each week, you know, makes it so that you don't usually have to do like a ton of filing all at once, which I like. I just like to like, and maybe, I, well, no, I can work around this footrest. I was going to say maybe I should move my footrest, but I think I can still scoot in here. Like I like to keep your your nails don't go grow completely evenly. So whatever shape you're uh you're cultivating, you need to review it and make sure your your nails are cooperating or, you know, file them into submission if they're not. I know, me too. I mean, even just like right there hard to see there's just a little piece on the corner and I just I mean I couldn't help myself it's the end of winter though I uh <clears throat> the peeling that I do have which is I mean for the most part super super minor I used to have a lot more trouble with peeling see it's such a minor thing like it's hard to even see on camera but I'm just looking and seeing that the side is slightly like it just needs to be slightly evened up and I just use a lot of times the end of my file just to get like right right up under the nail so you're not just kind of like I guess your hand which is a similar color or you know trying to guess with it like it just makes it easier easier to see if anything needs a little bit of attention but I used to have much much worse peeling and uh I do take a biotin supplement and that has really helped a lot with it. But not, I know not everybody can take that or is, you know, interested to take that. Or has peeling nails and needs to take it in the first place. I mean, some people have really nice nails. I feel like I try to cultivate the good nails, but. Hey, Sapphire Wolf, we're going to be doing pastels and nail vinyls. 
and I kind of the one thing I just want to test is whether I want to these are not I'm, I'm trying to catch the reflection of the of the cut so you guys can see they're like little squiggly raindrops actually I kind of wonder what this what this vinyl is actually called because I'm not sure what they're supposed to be they kind of look like sperm to be honest yes they are I've been keeping them in their box just because I feel like I keep pulling out the whole collection at a time um the whatever forevers and the and the oil slicks um also because they haven't gotten onto the spreadsheet yet and they need to but once I once I am not using them so often, I'll probably just take them out of the box. I uh, yeah, I used I used them already. Like these tests here, we did some smooshies with them, and we swatched them all out too. I got the swatches here. This will actually help for me deciding what colors to use. Um, not this. That was the purple stuff. The uh, whatever for blah, 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 whatever forevers. And the oil slicks with a strip of black which in some cases like here these couple this one you really can catch a strong flash their duochrome with the help of that black in particular <clears throat> that's the thing I mean they're not super expensive I would say wait for a sale um, what's up actually just had a sale and I was gonna get some and then I kind of was like, I don't really need any. Maybe I will do it later. Sunburnt. Hello. We we finally are at nine months. We now have a Twitch baby. I now I now maybe have four Twitch babies or so. I should know. I feel like I should know this, even though that's like a weird stat to just know off the top of your head. But thank you so much for uh that prime subscription for using your prime here for uh so many months the two, god nine months it just is so crazy and i know there's a couple that are even more than that and it's weird how some of them can have gotten desynced over time because of the way that it like prompts you to renew your subscriptions or whatever but thank you so much son um we oh we were we were talking about vinyls and I, I really should. I should, before I start the tutorial, I should look up what those are called. Um, and then I streamed last night, and by the time I was done streaming, the sale was over. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm not going to get any vinyls. It was 40% off. And uh, What's Up pretty frequently has like 40 or 50% off their vinyls. So that's kind of another place where I would try pretty hard not to ever pay full price because you don't really need to Ooh, there's still a little bit of green under this nail so yeah we're gonna be maybe let, let's see if autofocus wants to play today oh autofocus you almost did it there can you guys see them the little sperms <laughs> Oh. Yeah, God, I can't. I can't be calling it the pastel sperm, <laughs> pastel sperm nail art. Um, so we're gonna have to look up and see. I'm thinking they're maybe supposed to be raindrops, although they're curvy, so maybe they're like tiny, small paisleys or something. Yeah, twinkle tea is also supposed to be good. I would not recommend. Uh, is it bundle monster? The other ones that I have. Like super cheap nail vinyls seem like they would be a good deal, but you want like a, I don't want to say higher end nail vinyl, but you want one that's not too thick. You want one that's not too much adhesive. You want one that's enough adhesive to stick on your nails though. Like there's a lot of things that actually can go wrong uh, with vinyls if they're kind of cheap if the you know if the vinyl is like not flexible and it doesn't want to actually like go to your nail curve but i like them there there's a learning curve for sure i mean it seems like oh it's easy to stick it on your nail and you instantly have nail art but i mean you may have to deal with bleeding under the edges of the vinyl stuff like that but there's i mean there's ways to fix all that and i i mean i like them i'm not trying to convince you otherwise but 
like paying full price for them they I don't know of course it's easy to get like a whole shopping cart full of stuff too and then of course it seems expensive when you got like 20 different vinyls in your cart but um there's a lot of sales and a lot of times like places will you know do clearance like if they have some Easter vinyls pretty much as soon as Easter's over those might go on sale stuff like that so we're just doing a little just a little maintenance filing like I'm not particularly trying to uh, take off any length I'm just trying to eat well except on my thumb I had a couple I had a couple accidental inventory screens um, so this thumb in fact let me get this one this one's a little I don't want to say sharper because it's a file but it works a little quicker I had a couple unintentional inventory screens when I was playing Hollow Knight and that is in fact due to uh, my thumbnail getting too long which probably means I should also file my left thumb yeah I think it would be really cool to live by their actual little store uh, the as far as like shipping though if I recall and I may be wrong or it may have changed by now I think if you order only vinyl shipping is free without a without a limit because they just send it in you know like a like a regular envelope it's not like it has to go in a box and have like parcel shipping <clears throat> Oh yeah, the holographic ones. I remember you telling me about those, son. Because that's, I mean, some of them, that's another one where it depends like how thick they are, like whether you can really use them as kind of like a decal or not. I don't have any that are like, uh, what do I want to say, dual purpose. Um, And I, I'm sorry, you guys, it's so awkward, especially like when I'm actually trying to do some length. Because I want to hold my, my file like this which then trying to like get it on camera just turns so awkward or if I'd like go at it what would be nice to show on camera like this it just feels so awkward I file both directions I know some people are like oh my god don't don't do it it doesn't can't even blow the dust away because of the ring light um I don't think it's bad if you're using a glass file I know everybody has their preference and you can do whatever you like I've tried like sitting and like oh my god I, I like literally cannot I cannot so no <laughs> the other thing of course with the cows and we may be having a time today we'll just have to see is these little ones sometimes the little things um like don't want to come apart oh no son well your ear you're doomed either to accent nails or if they're like actually big enough to like cut and use just half of one it really depends on the design whether that's a viable solution or not some of mine i've been able to split in half that way most of the uh what are generally considered like full nail designs although they're like way big for a full nail a lot of these i can use two on each one but the ones from what's up generally come like a 12 so you have like enough for a full manicure and then enough for a couple mess ups or leftover for a couple of accent nails later yeah don't wait too long i hate when i'm like oh let's go back and buy some more of that and then it's like you can't buy that anymore and then i'm sad okay i think we're gonna s let's get the camera out camera do you have battery did i remember to charge battery um i i'm gonna go with this like shimmery white i thought about using one of the pearls we were using before um but i decided to go with this shimmer and then I, I like playing with the different finishes like that because I feel like it gives um god why is why is this so loose okay hold on like the uh the one I just had on the spirals it was so weird because I felt like 
Oh, I see what the problem is. Do I have something I can use like a screwdriver? There we go. Ish. Kinda. Yeah, that's tighter than it was. Yeah. Of course, if I, well, we'll see. My capture card is in, well, it's not in the mail yet. It's ordered. And so are my needles. Mm. And then we'll have to learn how to use things all over again. Um, where was I going with that? I don't remember. Um, oh, we're going to use this, this shimmery one. I thought about using the pearl one, but I did want to use something that was a different finish to the pastels, which are all creams, because I feel like it gives more depth to the manicure. What I'm going to do with these little... Okay, let's... Right now... Uh, let's look this up. Let's uh, let's go on what's up and see what these are actually called. Um, because I I gotta quit calling them the sperm the sperm vinyls. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so they should be in here. Um, maybe I should just search raindrop and see if they come up. They don't have how many pages do they have? If they still have these in stock. They change their designs from time to time too. Um, and some of these are just weird. Like I would never use that on my nail. These ones designed like fidget spinners. Like I kind of liked it until I looked at the description and saw that it was supposed to be fidget spinners. And then I was like. Um, I really like they had a hibiscus one that I immediately kind of wanted to put on that bright pink and orange smooshing that we did. Um, but yeah, like I said, then I did not end up taking advantage of the sale. Uh, where are these? Oh, no, that's not them. Boy, we might end up having to call this the sperm finals if we can't find out what they're really called. Oh, here they are. Droplets. Okay, droplets, not raindrops, which makes sense because raindrops would not be curved, um, but droplets. Um, yeah, these ones. No, those are that one. Oh, this one. See, it's always kind of interesting. Like, they've got their website, and then to see what also they sell on Amazon that I could get a commission for. Sometimes they have them not on there. But these, if you could not see when I was posting them, um, when I was posting them, when I was trying to hold them up to the webcam, that's the, that's the vinyl that I want to use. But my thought with it is... Um... So there's, how many rows is this? I don't think I actually counted before. Like they, they swoop one way and then they swoop the other way. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got like, and they're like kind of in rows. So we've got like five rows of two, ten total, like rows of droplets. And I'm thinking of splitting each one of these into like three. Like if I split down the middle of one, and then I'm just going to be using like a row of two droplets on each nail, like down the center of the nail on top of the white and make it a rainbow of droplets with what do we want to use? I mean, I don't want to use all of them. We want, oh no, that's not the other, that's the wrong box. That's the wrong damn box. Okay, hold on. <laughs> that's one of the oil slick boxes. Excuse me, Beanie. Um, okay. Stooch. Okay. Sorry. Sorry to disturb you. Okay. So. Let's look at what we have here. Like how, like, how many of these are going to fit on my nail? 
one, two, three, four, five, six ish. So maybe I want to go with like six colors. Definitely the purple. Purple. Blue. No, that's the pink. Pink, purple, blue. And then we could either go teal green or green yellow. No, that's the teal, that's the limon. Green yellow. We also have we could add this on that end. <laughs> this is the dusty pink. I don't want to use that. And this is the dusty blue. I definitely don't want to use that. The orange. I mean, I've like if we went, and I all, do I want to line up the droplets on the tip or on the cuticle? Because I mean, my nails are not all the same length, so they're not all going to fit the same amount of droplets onto them. Like we could do, like these six. I'm cutting some of these off camera, but you guys feeling me? These three? Yeah. Like these, definitely. I, I feel kind of like I don't want to go here because we're going there later. We're going there later with... With... that this kind of feels eastery too this might be my easter manicure if it lasts i guess i'm cut one two three four five six that's like seven like how different are the the pink will probably be the bright I, I kind of, yeah, I kind of feel like maybe not the Limon because the Limon is like the brightest other than like the orange. I would say they look like highlighter colors. The green is bright, but it's not as bright. I think my thumb though, how many are going to fit on my thumb? Then how am I going to loop that around if I'm not doing a full rainbow? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We're, we're still going to go for this. I, I do believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Basenji lover. God. Thank you so much for the host. Welcome in. Yes. Sapphire. They're great. Um, I did kind of a haul and comparison of them when I first got them. They slot just right into the gaps that the other collection kind of left or the other collection slots right into the gaps that this collection left. I feel like I want to make this thumb just a little bit shorter. My thumbs are not even. Um, not that it hugely matters, but get them a little bit more even. Yeah, son, you see why I've been so so frustrated with the camera. But more more pleased with the tutorial camera, which I've also mentioned. I mean, like the, even the tutorial camera, neons neons are a struggle, but I feel like the tutorial camera is like say 90 95% accurate, whereas this one is maybe like especially on some of the brighter colors like maybe 75 to 80% accurate. Maybe that's uh, not very terrible 80 to 85 percent we'll say i mean it's it's not like they're horribly off it's just in in most cases they're not horribly off they're just they're not conveying the true the true brightness hey amethyst the old ones are nice too and they do come in like a little seven piece uh collection which is then slightly discounted and you can usually get those in the sales too um, definitely I'd say if you cannot find them cheaper somewhere else, a lot of times when collections first come out, it seems like the other stockist sites 
uh, prices kind of fluctuate a little bit. I got mine directly from Color Club, but during a sale. Color Club has a surprising amount of sales. I feel like they have like three to four sales a week. <laughs> Mm, we've got lemon tea today, if anybody's wondering. We'll set... I mean, I'm pretty sure... I feel like even on this camera, you can tell that that one's like just a little bit too bright for this. We're going to go with this. It's not going to be specifically Easter, but it is going to be kind of Easter. Excuse me. I think I'm just going to probably end up calling it spring... I don't know what, what did we decide these were called droplets spring pastel droplets my other my other thought was the thing that I thought I should maybe test which now I am kind of what the hell did I get on my glasses you ever just like try to clean your glasses and you're like whoop that was a mistake <laughs> like now it's just worse like no okay that's better really like ugh. You know, yeah this the spring pastel sperm as they swim on their way to impregnate the female salmon I don't know why they suddenly turned into salmon sperm don't ask me these questions I can't see them anyway right now <laughs> no I can still read I can't like see super clearly but I can still read. It's one little, you're, there's two kinds of glasses wearers. The kind that like wander around sometimes without their glasses on and that's just fine. And the kind that like roll out of bed and instantly put their glasses on or they have a problem. What are you? What the heck? Okay. I, th I think we're just about ready to go here. I super apologize, you guys. <clears throat> oh no weather screwing with your plans yeah I, I really like color club I love all the hollows that I have from them too the, the thing that's going to be hardest when we get to swatching you guys is like picking what to swatch first because there's so many good things. Okay. So I think... So if I split each of these into three... I'll need like... Three, six, nine... And then like one up there. So we maybe could do twelve. So... I know, like I said, it's hard to see on camera. But I'm just... I don't want to try and cut it too close. Because you don't want to like destroy the sperm <laughs> but I just want to try and you know like I said turn them into little strips I suppose I could test I'll have like a couple yo hello hi there hi there yourself thank you so much for your prime subscription. Hey, right after Nightbot told everybody about how if you have Amazon Prime, you can get Twitch Prime for free. And you can be cool like Sunburnt Galaxy and UFM. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I, I can't. Please subscribe, but like, don't ever feel obligated. It's super flattering. <laughs> Especially when you can do it for free. But I just, I don't know how to make that. I don't know. It it will come with time, this self-promotion. <laughs> we are just getting ready. We're going to do some more, as you can see, spring color therapy-ish. Why is it? Oh, this is, this is crooked. Um, things going on with these nail vinyls that are droplets, but they kind of look like sperm. <laughs> so, yeah, subscribe for your very own Barney nipple. They're on here like little rows and I'm basically cutting them into little skinnier rows. And I'm going to do them like a strip down the middle of my nail. I can picture it very, very clearly in my mind. So hopefully I'm not tripping. <laughs> like 
I'm not, I don't think we're really going to do very much practice here. Oh, I probably, later I'm going to need, we might want to, oh, that one's gross. Do I have another, do I have a fresh, small lid to use as a palette? I have a, I have a whole little pile of fresh lids. Were there some on this drawer too? No, where'd the other ones go? I thought I had another small one in here. I don't know. I guess I don't eat Pringles very often to get like the small lids. I might have to clean this one off because they're just nice uh, when I'm recording because they're easy to move around and easy to not like be completely in the way. So, oh wait, is this one already almost cleaned off? Yay. It wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> well, let's take care of the rest of this here like this. And then we'll clean it off with some acetone. It'll be fine. Yay. When things are easier than you expected. Now let's put this one that's all full of little polish poops. Somewhere where it won't fall over on the floor. I should clean off the rest of the ones that are sitting there. I mean, we're going to want probably like a little small brush. Ooh, you weren't cleaned off very well before you were put away and now you're all curly. I might use that one. Could use a good cleaning anyway. Ow, I almost stabbed my hand. <laughs> Shoving things back into my holder there. <clears throat> Barney watching. Barn, I, I, I have a picture. You would need, uh, like we got Crow Judge son, you'd need Barney Judge. <laughs> oh my god, everybody's having pizza. Oh my god. Even Buttsbot is having pizza. <laughs> Okay, um, acetone. Oh, so they each get their turn to be the judge. Is that kind of, was that like a thing in school? Like you had to be, you got to be in charge and then like everybody had to share the duty. I don't remember like in charge of what, but it's like you couldn't really screw people over because if you did, then like when they were in charge, they would just screw you over right back. Sorry, or you're welcome. <laughs> oh, this is all sparkly still, though. How are we going to get rid of these sparkles? Okay. Okay, each, each pass is taking off more and more of the sparkles. God, this is really some good ASMR, I guess. <laughs> When I was uh, doing the Spirograph water marble and I was looking for Spirograph references to see if I was like tripping. Tripping? I don't know why I pronounced that so uh, enunciatedly. And I came across this Spirograph ASMR video. And they're all like... Like they're like handling the, the gears and shit. <laughs> I was like, whoa, <laughs> really? You could ASMR anything, I guess. <laughs> this is some pretty good squeaking, though. Okay. The One one of the things I have to kind of decide here, you know, I need to just get started painting the white, though, is do I do one nail at a time to be able to pull up the vinyls while the polish is wettest, or do I do one color at a time, in which case I'd be doing... A whole hand of cycles and by the time I'm done it would be kind of kind of dry but if I do one nail at a time then like I'm gonna have some dry polish sitting on my little my little lid like it's kind of a kind of a lose-lose situation <laughs> I 
<laughs> like, okay, now you watch over, you watch over your human. Make sure they don't do anything stupid. Okay. So, I th I think we have a pretty good plan. Um, let's rinse that off a little bit before we even get started, and just. It's like, what did I use this for? It's got like a bunch of purple, just like all up in it. I'm not sure about the the eight o'clock Wednesday time either. It seems like the past couple weeks I keep changing it to be earlier. And the one time I did stick with the eight o'clock start time, we were going until like 1 a.m. or something. It's like if I don't have a plan and I'm trying to do a full manicure, 8 o'clock seems like it's a little bit late to be starting. If I'm only testing or something, 8 o'clock might work. Today I just, I didn't feel like waiting. I was like, I kind of want to do my nails right now. I was like, I'm not scheduled till 8. And then I was like, you know what? Hopefully nobody minds too much. Let's just get going. Why is this like not cleaning off of this orange stick? Is this not polish? Let's get a different orange stick. Excuse me, this one's kind of gross, but you know what? Let's let's use a let's get a let's get a fresh orange stick. Not there. I'm gonna need this. Actually, this is the same way I I sometimes sharpen um, the point of the orange stick to make it real sharp for water marbling. Um, I'll sharpen the, I don't know, what do you want to call this end? The not sharp end to make it less jaggedy. Like to give it an actual like rounded tip instead of just kind of like almost a splintery tip. Cause like if you are using it for cleanup or anything like that, it's never happened to me, but it seems perfectly plausible that you could get like a, a splinter or something like that from an orange stick that's a little bit jagged. So like there's absolutely nothing wrong with like, like that. Now we've got like a nice, really smooth and like not, I mean, it's still like pretty sharp at the end. It's not like blade sharp. In fact, let's do this point too while we're at it. But it's no longer like looking like it's gonna leave a piece of wood in my cuticle, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> no loud parties or cake mm. I can't decide if I want my hoodie on or off so I've got this awkward like shoulder thing going on um okay so I still have not remembered to check if I have a spare bottle of peel off base or not <laughs> That needs to become more of a priority. And let's get going here. Actually, let's let's get lip balm here. Okay. Let's there we go. I feel like everything is just crooked today, but maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the crooked one. It just feels like everything is not quite where it's supposed to be. I mean, I haven't, I haven't really moved anything, so it probably is just all in my head. <clears throat> you guys would probably like to be a little bit closer also. There you go. <clears throat> oh, what am I doing? I haven't, uh, I haven't cleaned off my nails yet. So, acetone, Q-tip, nails. Make sure to just, especially like, like around the cuticles and down on the side walls. I feel like that's places where it's easy for lotion or you know oil or whatever to linger 
soap residue even like if you have a soap and your hands feel nice and soft after you use that soap uh guess what your soap has something in it <laughs> and your nails are not clean after after washing with that soap you know and I mean I don't I really I don't know what I did last week I just took the spirals off yesterday um I didn't lose any peelies until yesterday morning. I lost my right thumb, which I mean, I think for everybody that's like your most used finger. So that wasn't super shocking. The super shocking part was wearing a manicure with a peel off base coat for almost a full week. Like baffled me a little bit that it hung on that well. Especially because I had some very visible tip wear. Um, I had very visible tip wear in some nails even before I did the stamping on top. The, the additional layer of top coat I'm sure helped. Um, but I was nonetheless really, really impressed with how well it wore. Alright, so now we're ready for base coat. <clears throat> this time Stella's in charge. Use your gavel wisely, Stella. Oh, tea's like almost too hot. It's so good. Am I weird? Am I the only one that likes tea almost burning you? I'm I can't be. That can't be only me. <clears throat> Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base. You can use whichever is your personal favorite. Maybe I didn't let it dry quite as long as I normally do. I do recall one <clears throat> kind of unintentional test that we did where we discovered that uh applying the base color when the peel off is like not fully dry did result in I mean I almost actually could not peel that nail off that was a, a screw up during the tutorial where I ended up having to peel off the whole nails worth of polish and then redo it and I just redid it in such a hurried fashion <clears throat> man I am really <clears throat> I'm gonna actually get a drink of water. Hold on. I have to finish the sand first. <laughs> water, not tea, because tea is delicious, but water is lubricating. <clears throat> okay. I think that is a little bit better. <clears throat> <laughs> I think it must be because the keyboards, some keyboards get warm, do you think? Beanie, thankfully, 99% of the time steers completely clear of my desk. Like this whole surface that we're working on. Like I don't have to worry about him coming up here and messing with things. Like, if I wanted to, I could probably leave decals to dry on my desk without too much paranoia. Other than, like, paranoia that myself would would mess them up. I'd mess them up before Beanie would if they were just sitting on my desk. <laughs> or maybe they just like the nubbly texture. Like, maybe it's like those, uh those foam mattresses that are shaped like eggshells cartons you know what is this goober get off of there goober hitting those little kitty tummy pressure points okay we're gonna give this like a minute to dry but not too long we're gonna see if we can create another super long wearing manicure here And I think I'm going to try and work mostly one hand at a time. I mean, to st well, 
I was thinking two two coats of color and then a top coat left hand, two coats of color and then top coat left hand. Right hand. The other hand. Excuse me. <clears throat> Beanie will sometimes sit in my lap and sometimes he's like extremely tolerant of me typing. Like he'll be sitting in my lap and I'll be on the, uh, like on the help forms or something and I'll be you know, going along pretty, pretty fast and he'll just be, you know, cozy and hanging out even though my arms are not still. And sometimes if I like try to type even a little bit or use the mouse, he's like, I'm not having this. How are you not holding me securely and, and petting me? How dare you be trying to use this computer machine? Um, I did, I'm still not sure if I want to do tests for this or not. I did prepare two little shimmery spots you see them right here they're white um they are fully dry we, we probably should we should after we test after we get the white base color down we should test that okay um should i go through all the colors this is a lot of colors i'll just i'll list them in the information box because this is a lot of colors. In fact, will these all fit on camera? At that level of zoom, they will not. I could go like this. I could go and right off screen. Would that be silly or cool? <clears throat> Mm, or I or I could just do the names like I normally do. I probably should. Okay. Okay. You guys watch me talk myself into and then out of things. <laughs> Son, did you notice that now you have an upgraded Barney nipple now that you're at nine months? Oh, oh no! And. <laughs> okay, sorry. Got those sympathy shutters. Thank you. Yeah, I think they're gonna go really good. They're gonna be cute. They're gonna be cute. I'm not trying to convince myself for anything. We're going to do a test and then you'll see. And if the test is not great, something else will happen. <laughs> <clears throat> Most of the colors that I'm using today are from the Color Club Whatever Forever Spring Pastel Neon Collection. This yellow is like a boss. The green is it's all in the attitude. The teal is I'm out of here. The blue is take a chill pill. The purple is can you not? And the pink is girl gang. Actually, I oh, is is that right? I think that's right. Remember this one I kept saying what the hell is a girl gand? Yes, girl gang. I should have trusted myself. I was right. I was looking at my invoice the other day. I was like, Th that's not what it's called. It's misspelled on the bottle label and it's correct on the invoice. I should have just trusted myself. I, I could have used that take. <clears throat> Benny, what the hell did you have for dinner? You smell like a fucking fish, dude. Ew. Oh, Benny. Ew. I was like, literally, I was like, and I turn around and here's Beanie licking his chops. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <clears throat> Take two. Take, well, three, I guess. Because Beanie distracted me on take two. <clears throat> Most of the polishes I'll be using today are from the Color Club Whatever Forever Pastel Neon Collection. The yellow 
is like a boss. The green is it's all in the attitude. The teal is is <laughs> okay. I just knocked several things over. I don't know if you guys could hear that. I'm not sure if the camera picked it up either. There's like a really loud school bus going by outside and dropping kids off like in the middle of the block. I guess my window is not fully closed all the way. Okay, let's just wait for him to drive away. <clears throat> and then we'll have take four. It's fine. It's minor. Okay, you are just driving too fast, especially with the school bus right in front of you. Idiot. Okay. <clears throat> Take four. <clears throat> the polishes that I'll be using today are mostly from the Color Club Whatever Forever Pastel Neon Collection. The yellow is Like a Boss. The green is It's All in the Attitude. The teal is I'm Out of Here. The blue is Take a Chill Pill. The purple is Can You Not? And the pink is Girl Gang. I'm going to be using those after I've applied my vinyl. And for my base color, I'm going to be using Orly Au Champagne. I feel like that was a little bit klutzy at the end when I pulled in all champagne, but I don't feel like doing a take five, so we're going with this. And all champagne is a really very shimmery white, but I should be able to get it opaque in two coats, I hope. I've used it as a base, a base white for, for designs before. <clears throat> Benny, why you not stay in your chair? Stinky boy. Maybe I should be glad you're not staying in your chair and I don't have to smell your fishy breath. Yeah, it's like all their labels were misprinted because I was like, what the hell is a girl gand? Is that like a gal Friday? <laughs> but no, it's a typo. All right. And like I said, as you can see, I mean, it's it's not a one coater, but it should be. We should be pretty good with two coats. So we'll do two coats of that. One coat of sesh feet. And then we'll do maybe some testing. While it dries nicely. Oh, Beanie came back to his chair. I just noticed. Hi, Beanie, you good boy. You good stinky boy. Oh yeah, get all in that booty. That'll make things better. Instead of fish breath, we'll have actual, well, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Actual anus breath. There. Re reasons why my channel is marked mature only. Oh my God. I'm sure eventually too. I don't think it's happened yet, but. I'm kind of surprised none of my archives have been demonetized on YouTube. <clears throat> How much cussing can I get away with? I just recorded both hands and that was completely unnecessary. Oh, well. Give this a moment to dry. Eventually, too, I... I the oil slicks, like, I don't know. I'm re-evaluating my plan of drag marbling with them. I, I guess I really need to see how they do or drip marble, I mean, how they do drip marble. 
Like, I feel like I don't have quite, like, they're, they're all really pretty, don't get me wrong. I feel like I wish there were just a couple that were more on, like, a darker end of a multi-chrome spectrum than, like, the, the very girly pinks and the really light blues. But we'll see. And this color, well, I've got a ginormous gap on this side. I'll need to address that. Can you guys kind of tell how it's dried down, sort of matte? Um, I mean, it doesn't actually say anywhere that it's a matte, but it definitely does not have a glossy finish um, on its own. But, whoa, guess I took a picture there. <laughs> because it is, um, because it does kind of change finish, I can tell that it's pretty mostly dry and ready for a second coat. Trying to get this nice, even, opaque. And if it's a little bit on the thick side, well, hopefully Sash Feet does its job. I'm gonna try and be better about that. I should be. Like using an orange stick to help with cleanup instead of just relying completely on my cleanup brush. Oop, that was just, that was super sloppy. And I can still see a little bit of like visible nail line, but I think once I get the vinyls and the design applied, that will detract enough from that that I don't I still don't think we need to do like a third like a third coat in fact on camera it's very hard to tell that there is a little bit of visible nail line there VNL if you are into the acronyms. Back to right hand, which I see I was actually quite much messier with on the first pass, but that's okay. It's because I'm trying to be neat and use the orange stick doesn't mean I'm not using the cleanup brush. I certainly definitely am. I need to, I should pull out my, uh, my little lips. For, they're for picking things up off of... Oh. God damn it. Can I? Well, okay, we're just gonna. We're just gonna go like that. We're gonna like. Stroke, stroke and glom. Can't tell. I hope. Fuck me. Can't believe I did that. I mean, I absolutely can believe I did that, but... I can't believe that it's so common for me to still just, like... I don't know, be a klutz. <laughs> and then we'll top coat. How long do you guys think I should wait to be safe? Between sesh feet and nail vinyls. Oh, there's a beanie here and there. Get out. Get out. Okay. 
Do I wrap this one again? We'll just do it extra just for just for it to be extra. Okay. I'm I'm hunching really bad. I'm like, you guys probably could tell, like whether you could see me here or here or here or here. <laughs> like how bad is Colette hunching over over the desk today? I don't know. It feels like it helps. Probably doesn't. Um. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to think if I should wait a little bit longer um on this pinky cuz I had just done that little polish surgery maybe just like a minute like a quick minute <clears throat> that's super, okay so we're waiting somewhere between 15 minutes and 24 hours you guys <laughs> mm. this looks so I think it's dry I don't think I can whoa it's not really dry doesn't really look better i i consider i'm considering cleaning up before i top coat and i don't think i'm going to i'm just going to clean up after of course maybe i do because i'm going to be doing very okay yeah i'm going to be doing some pretty precisionly neat stuff hopefully with the vinyls so let's just make this nice and neat real quick do us some nice neat cuticles and sides like when you're cleaning up with pure acetone it does make everything much nicer and quicker but it is also still like easier if you're doing it before the polish is like fully dry like you know as soon as possible the sooner you do it the easier it will be to do if that makes sense I almost smudged a nail again but I think I avoided it okay this little part in particular was bugging the hell out of me Yeah, still looks a little... There we go. And this one. Mm. I feel like I'm almost due for a new cleanup brush too. You guys can probably see a little bit. Like how the the tips are, are fraying a little bit and bending in directions that are not like super nice. What is that? Get off. But it's still working. I don't feel like I'm struggling to clean up yet, which is usually when I actually give in and get a new one. the heck almost smudged that nail sorry I've got like a little oh man it's like a little piece of cuticle that I felt like I could get off with the orange stick if I was just really careful but I don't know if I can oh whoa Come on. What about if I use this little tiny tweezers to grab you? <sighs> Did 
There we go. Okay. Oh, and we're still recording. We can stop that. <laughs> All right, finish this little bit of thumb cleanup. And I'm gonna go ahead and record this. Top coat. And then we'll do the right hand. And I don't know, you guys can definitely see how much glossier it is. It really brings to life the shimmer also. I mean, glossy things are always shimmerier than matte things. I mean, there, there are shimmery matte things, but it's like, it's not quite the same. I don't think. <clears throat> All right, and then we'll clean up our right hand. And that'll give the left hand a little bit longer time to dry. And of course, doing the left hand will give the right hand a little bit longer time to dry. All right, the time is 6.07. I think I wanna aim for like 6.30 to do vinyls. And I feel like that might be still a risky we'll see we'll we'll see i don't know i'm let's just take this cleanup really slow really slow cleanup <laughs> And a lot of times too, sometimes I'll do this on camera. Sometimes the camera like cooperates and captures it nicely and sometimes not. Like sometimes it's just easier to do cleanup from slightly different angles. Try and see what is most comfortable for you. Just like with the brush, you might like a rounded brush or a slanted brush. I still want to try a rounded brush. God, do I say that every single time? I do. I do. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I've got a paper cut on this finger and there's acetone in it. <clears throat> okay, let's get even like less acetone on this and try to just make this one more thing a cleanup. <sighs> oh, that's not even. Okay, well, that's, that's gonna have to be that. That is gonna have to be that. <sighs> yeah. I'm definitely gonna give him a little, give him a little tap test and see. I mean, like I said, it's not quite a matte, but it's sort of matte and mattes do already have a tendency to dry a little quicker. Plus we're top coating it. So really it should be fine. But honestly, unless I'm working over gel or unless like you said, son, it's been like a day or more, I have that same nervousness. And also, too, of course, peel off base coat. Added challenge. I, I've never had a complete disaster using peel off base coat and nail vinyls. But I've had a lot of close calls. Well, maybe not a lot. I've had several close calls. That's not even. That's not going to be even unless I like make this one. Mm. I don't like that shape, but I'm going to leave it alone before I make it worse. 
from Uber Chick. Yeah, the one that uh the one that made me want to try it is Musical. Uh, she uses a rounded cleanup brush, and it's just I don't know. She makes it look really nice and easy. But I mean, it, like it all like I said, it all depends because I had seen you know slanted ones looking nice and nice and easy, and when I tried a slanted one, I was like. Like, thanks, but no. Okay. Just about done with the cleanup on this thumb, and now we'll top coat the right hand. And I'm trying to, I'm actually not glomming this layer of top coat. You guys know I like to glom. But like two glommed layers of top coat are going to be really thick. So in cases like this where I'm really just, you know, this isn't the final layer. I'm just using this as like a, a drying, enhancing step. Um, I do try to keep it like a reasonable, more like a regular coat of polish thickness than like an extra glom, glommy thickness. So that's part of why I'm kind of being really mindful because Sesh Veet is thick. Sesh Veet wants to be glommed on. Um, so when you try to apply it kind of thinly, I don't, I don't want to say it fights you, but like I have to apply it with a lot more pressure than I usually do. I feel like I'm, I'm actually stroking with the brush versus uh, what I usually say is using the brush to guide the polish. Particularly with stamping, of course. If you're stamping, you do not want your top coat brush to actually touch your nail and then subsequently smear your stamping. Just want to, like, float it. Okay, so that took five minutes. We're at 612 now. I mean, like, I can already touch this, like, gently. So in this notebook, let's move this napkin. We don't need this for a minute. We have these two squares. See them? <laughs> They're invisible. Um, excuse me again. Um, maybe I should clean these up. God, these have been dirty since Christmas, haven't they? Um, carefully reaching. Carefully finding more acetone. <laughs> the decoder ring. Okay. Yeah, it, it depends too, like, I think a little bit of your technique. Like, I think part of the reason mine is getting a little misshapen is because of the way that I round out my cuticles. Like, can you see, like, how it almost flips out on each side? Like, there's a little whoop over here and a little whoop. I wish I could zoom in even, like, a little bit closer. It's really, it's like it's parted in the middle and the tips of the bristles on each side go out to the edges of that side. And I think that also comes from like cornering, using the corner to get in there and pull. I don't know. They're cheap, so it's not something that I'd spend a particular uh, extended amount of time worrying about at all. Um, let's just try and clean these off a little bit here these tweezers and then we'll see how these droplet vinyls like to peel or not as the case may be okay hopefully they behave nicely that would be so great wouldn't that be great guys Okay. There. Much cleaner. I mean, there's still some green on there. 
What what happened to these? Does anybody remember? It was something with the uh, the silver and green at Christmas. I remember that much. That's all. So. Whoa. Don't fall. Things just flying everywhere. Okay, we have these strips. If we just... Yeah, see what I'm doing here? Okay, let's try let's try this method and see how it goes. We'll peel it up. We'll go on the back and we'll stick it on the back. <sighs> like Do I need to Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe ish. Okay, we're making progress ish. Ugh. These little fuckers. And if you hadn't seen before, now you see why I kept calling them sperm. Because, uh, that's what they look like. Okay. Just get these last couple out of here, please. You know what? Maybe that's fine. Would that be long enough for my nail? I think it would be. So we'll put you here. What would our other option be for pulling these out? Like, just, can I... I mean, this is not fun. <laughs> it's kind of strangely satisfying, but I wouldn't call it fun. Maybe, can I use an orange stick for this instead of the tweezers? Can I just like... Oh, yeah. Kind of? Maybe? Get out. Get over here. You guys, I don't understand why it can't just, like, peel neatly. Like, why do I have to fuck around and do this? They don't seem to actually be attached. It's not like the, the die cut or whatever is not complete. They just don't want to come apart, like, when you just peel them. Okay, so... This one is a good example. In fact, I'm just I'm going to leave that one actually. I really like that center one. Let's do another one here. We'll just do this one over here. Oh. <laughs> mm. Little white polka dots over pastel. That would be cute. They do remind me of Paisley also. Um, the, tech, the official name is Droplet. So I'm going to try to remember to refer to them as such in the, in the YouTube side of things. Lorca! Hello! With the seven month, another prime resub, another person choosing to use their prime on little old me. Lorca, thank you so much for seven months. Um, we are, we are struggling with nail vinyls right now, but I think this is really going to turn out cool. Enjoy your lurk and uh, wish me luck. Well, you, I think you probably did. Yeah, I'm doing well. Well, I, I hope I'm doing well. I'm not out of my mind with peeling out 
sperm yet, so. I mean, droplets. <laughs> droplets of sperm! Okay. <laughs> I mean, I suppose even if whoever made these was thinking that, you can't market them like that, right? Because who would, who would want that on their nails? Okay, so... Oh, come on. Okay. See, now some of those stayed all right you can see we've got like a jagged edge here it's okay because we just want those two rows of droplets and like on my other hand what i'm gonna do is uh you know obviously you can't exactly reverse these but because of the way the pattern is staggered and because my nails are not that long right now, instead of stop starting on the top drop, we'll just line up this second drop with the top of my nail. Um, so that one hand starts going that way and one hand starts going this way. Now, the question is, do we want to paint each of these or do we want to sponge? Sponging feels like it would be complicated, but so does painting, kind of, for the reasons that I outlined before. Christie's toy box. What's Christie's toy box? Um, okay. Let's get these open. Oh god, they're all tight again. Whoa. Everything's fine. Don't worry about that. Everything's fine. Just gonna get these all open. I mean, I suppose I could work directly out of the bottle. I always find that to be kind of a hassle. Oh! <laughs> Nail art to get your partner in the mood. <laughs> okay. So, pink is going to be our top color. And I've just got the bottles here, and I'm just literally going in on the brush stem. Maybe that is the way, because I only need that much polish. Instead of putting them out on a palette, maybe I don't need a palette at all. And then we can go purple. And we do blue. Then we do teal slash turquoise slash this color right here. Uh, green. What the hell did I just get on my brush? Oh, they're sperm. I mean, droplets. Do that. Clean it off. And yellow. <clears throat> and for most of my nails, I mean, that should be enough. Oh no, where'd the purple go? It's, it's, what even happened? It's not on here either. Where did the purple literally go? It's like it was a bubble. It's not like stuck on here is what I'm trying to show you. No purple here, no purple there. What the fuck is that about? I guess that's something I need to be careful of. All the other ones turned out good though. Okay, so just imagine, well, no, let's fix it. We'll put it on here. We'll, we'll freehand it.
like that so that's going to be like in the middle of each little nail it came up i thought it had like dried really quick and it was like stuck on the on the vinyl but like it actually wasn't so what do you, what do you guys think like this is like what i thought i wanted and i think i do still want it i hope you guys like it i mean that obviously i like doing stuff that i like but i like doing stuff you guys like to watch too hey lexi yeah like it's it's kind of clean it's simple it's still springy but it's kind of a little different Let's, okay, so if I do it in the opposite order, if I start from the bottom, I wonder if the purple will cooperate a little bit nicer. So, count it, one, two, three. Like, I didn't want to get too heavy either, too heavy-handed, because I didn't want to, like, peel up the vinyl and then have them, like, puddling. But I guess I need to make sure that they have like a decent, a decent amount. Okay. Yeah, I think this might actually be the way instead of using a palette. Because I do just need like a little dot of polish each time. Otherwise... It's going to be drying out so much on my palette, it's going to make it hard to do... It's going to... That's going to make it hard to get a clean decal peel. So on this one, like I said, I kind of skipped that top one. Let's get a little bit more in this purple. I kind of skipped that top one so that we're having uh, like a mirror... a mirror image. Okay. Let's see if purple behaves this time. Okay, we have to go faster. The yellow and the green did that this time. Fucking decals. <sighs> like, do I just need to use, I think I maybe just need to use a heavier hand with the polish so that it's not like a thin, dry, sticky layer, but there's like a little bit more moisture to it. This is gonna be tricky. I don't know. I feel, I, I feel like the other direction actually worked out a little bit better because we only had one messed up and this one we had two messed up. Well, we're just we're just gonna have to go for it. Uh it is almost 6 30. Our nails appear to be dry. Let's spend a little bit more time whoa um let's spend a little bit more time plucking sperm should i try the sponge gradient i'd need to cut another one of these in, into pieces or i'd need to reuse one of the ones that i already did because that was the other thing i was thinking um, can I reuse either of you? I kind of don't want to cut up another one if I don't have to. Let's, uh, oh, what if I do like this? And then stuck you on here. We're just going to go here. This isn't a spot that has polish on it, but that's fine. I mean, since we're just working with white. Um, 
that's not the kind of sponge that I like. Oh, here's one though, I think. Oh, you are covered in beanie hair. God damn it. Okay. Not like they're far away. <laughs> I just thought I'd have one laying around on my desk. That would have been convenient. So for something like this, obviously I don't think we'd want to use this big old wide part because we're going to have nail on either side here. This is not quite wide enough, so we'd probably want to trim this. I'm looking at like that width. Mm. Yeah, probably like that. And then it would need to be like short, like, like this. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, let's see how this goes. Yellow, green, teal, blue, purple, pink. I feel like we could use a little bit more green here. Green got lost. Yellow kind of got lost too. Okay. I mean, it would have to be... I might need even a skinnier sponge than what I did there. We're farther than six dots down also. See, like, I don't... Let's see how this looks. Ooh, that got messy because we didn't have full adhesion. It doesn't look bad. It also doesn't look as intense. Like the pink and the purple are a little bit washed out-ish. Let's try it again with this one. Does this have a little bit of stickiness left on it? Let's, uh... See, that would be a problem too now that I'm like looking at how I have this. I'd need to. I'd need to possibly coarse. That's, I mean, that's a thing I could do. I could mask the sides with liquid latex. Let's see if we can get a. The pink and the purple to come through a little stronger. I feel like the purple is the one that's struggling really the most and I'm trying to remember when we were doing our sketchbook swatches if that's one of the ones that I said had the kind of goofier formula oh you're not staying in place just imagine there, stay. Whoa. <clears throat> I, I don't hate it. I don't love it. You know what I mean? The, pur the purple is what's throwing me off in this one because I'd have doing multiple layers of sponging I'm just going back to look at the swatches yeah I think the purple was that slightly thinner consistency formula yeah I I, I kind of like I like several things about it I don't think I would use it with this shape of vinyl I don't like it with the purple I like really like I mean like we literally just did these colors like they're so nice and bright I think
we're just gonna I, I think the formula is part of the problem I think the purple and the yellow have kind of goofy formulas I think if I were to do them <clears throat> like uh, pink blue green yellow teal purple that I could get a good peel I think that's gonna be the thing to aim for um if I just like if I do that will they stay there when I peel Or are you just going to be dangling off of the off the thingy? No. Okay, I'm just going to this this is what I hate about vinyls. And not all vinyls are like this. But these ones with these little small patterns this just seems fucking unavoidable and such a goddamn hassle. I mean, am I doing it wrong? If I'm doing it wrong, somebody please tell me. Like, I don't know. Oh, God, they're all stuck to my finger. Get off of me. <clears throat> that, that's the new business model. Vinyls with the little pieces already removed for you. I guess in some cases you could use the little pieces on their own. But like nobody's going to be using these sperms on their own. They're too small. It would be ridiculous on your nail to have to deal with that. Because I mean you need to have some overhang or it's kind of a hassle to get it off your nail. What if maybe if I go this way? What if I pull them? What if I do this? I'm just like looking for a solution that'll make this even moderately easier. Can you hear that? That little click? That's weird. These seem really stubborn too. Even just like getting the end to get my tweezer under is kind of a challenge. Like, look, like it's impossible. It's literally impossible. I just don't even know. So, how are you guys today? <laughs> what ridiculous, what ridiculous thing did you do lately in service of your nail art? Uh oh, did I mess that up? I did a little bit. See, and that's the other thing. It's like you can damage the vinyl when you're sitting here trying so hard to get these little chunks out. It doesn't really matter because I probably won't use that end that won't be like on my nail but <sighs> we have three we need ten <laughs> hey tralala or tray lala sorry Welcome in. We are we are trying not to be too pissed off these damn nail vinyls. Cause they're just so fun. Not. I uh I'm trying to and you know, I don't know if that'll be a problem. I'm just trying to get the little center things off 
so that I can use the part that I actually want to use. Oh. <clears throat> like I don't I've seen so many people make it look easy. Like I said, like when I tried to stick it on the back and it took us like four or five sticks and we still didn't even have them all out. Like I've seen people do that and it just like magically like everything comes out. Like is it photoshopped or am I just like not doing it right? I just don't even know. This is just so fiddly. Fiddly in a way I do not enjoy. Like glitter placement also could be described as fiddly, but that's a fun kind of fiddly. This is a horrible, boring kind of fiddly that leaves you with little sperm-shaped droplets sticking places that you don't want things to stick. These, these little sticky things of vinyls are almost worse than glitter because they actually are sticky. At least glitter, it goes everywhere, but you can just brush it off. Like, these are going everywhere and they're sticking. But they're cute. It's going to be so cute. It's going to be so cute. I just need to keep telling myself that. <laughs> hmm. That's kind of ridiculous, Amethyst, because pre-K is not, like super widely available everywhere oh let my my best advice yo is make sure it's mostly dry and use something like a yellow stopper or a, like a bonder to get your nail sticky and ready for it so it really will pull it off the stamper if you're doing it on a stamper i have faith in you you can you can accomplish this I was gonna say you could master this but then I thought that might be too much pressure to uh, achieve immediate mastery oh my god I thought this was a good idea for collecting the the droplets <sighs> it's like the time in between me using vinyls it's just long enough for me to forget how much I hate using vinyls. Get off my tweezer. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think that would solve the, the droplets problem, though. Because that's the main thing. I don't think that they would come off any easier if it was still in one piece. Plus, part of me doesn't like sticking it on something else because then sometimes you get too much stickiness off of the vinyl and then it doesn't want to stick on your nail. Maybe I could invent a tool. Maybe I could just repackage orange sticks and market them as vinyl, vinyl pre preparation sharp pointy object thing. Get off of my tweezer. Oh my god, I'm picking up more. Yeah, I haven't tried a toothpick. I was doing it with the orange stick. I don't know if I like that better or worse than the toothpick. It might be a little bit easier. I don't know. Then you gotta like deal with these. So you still gotta like grab them up somehow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the sperm picker. Oh. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We are more than halfway done, you guys. Let's do this. Let's do it this way. Maybe that is a little bit easier. That's got to get the movement down. It's like a, a digging and a swooping. Dig and swoop. Oh. 
It's just, it's just testing my patience. <laughs> yeah, my nails will be plenty dry after this. That's the the upside. I just hope we can get some clean, nice uh, transfers. Okay. Almost done. Get out of here. Where'd it go? Get off of me! I have a feeling I'm going to be finding these things on my desk for weeks. Oh, now it's an acetone. Get out of there. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's like, where's some of my other ones? I got a lot that have these kind of like fussy fucking patterns. If you use some that are more just like the regular... Like, I don't think you'd have the same problem. These are triangle spirals. I think if you pulled up one of the spirals, the other spiral would probably stay there. Or like these triangles. Well, of course the camera doesn't want to show you the cuts, but they're basically like long skinny triangles. Those have been fine. Those are not a pain in the butt to use. Where did my orange stick fall to? I hate dropping my orange stick because then I inevitably run it over with my, with my desk chair. Um, something like this is a uh, flames each side of flames that should be good um the hearts actually weren't that bad and i was but i was going for the center part so we pulled those up all separately um you know and even like with the sticking technique um we had the the stripes we had the, the problem with the stripes was, as you can see here, the fat ones would come out and then the skinny ones wouldn't. Or they wouldn't complete. Like, this one was the best one that we stuck and peeled. But then we kept getting them where they was only getting the fat ones and then you had to do the other ones separately. And then I did a couple where I just, you know, did them right. I peeled them before I even peeled the thing off. So it just, it absolutely really depends Oh, and look at what did we do here? How did I do this? I don't remember how. Did it just cooperate? Did I just peel them and they cooperated? I mean, there's like a couple that obviously, you know, came out. I don't remember. I honestly don't. So anyway. I uh, have had a lot of rain here today too, Amethyst, which is kind of nice. I was saying earlier, it's like I can see things, or maybe that was in my meeting earlier. I can see things getting green like in front of my eyes. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. These things are just on my last nerve. And I hope that the ones that I'm ignoring, the ones that I are not the ones that I want, I hope they either get left behind on the edge, um, like you can see they did on this peel, or I hope they at least just don't stick on my nail, because that could be like a small problem. We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, this one and one more, and then we can move on back to the actual nails. Yeah, some of it's like you can almost feel it pop out when you're messing with it. Okay, well, one more. <clears throat> I think it's supposed to be mostly rainy tomorrow, but then it's going to get more like yesterday over the weekend. And yesterday was the nicest day. 
Like, I literally did not want to come inside. It was so nice. That's why the stream was in the in the evening. Because I didn't want to come inside. Last night's stream, I don't, I don't even know, you guys. It was like... I was happy and sad and all kind of feelings all all tied together. Like that any percent PB. I just could not be happy with that. And all skills was a freaking disaster. I don't know. I do knew. Maybe if I wrap a dinner up shortly, I'll do some more tonight. I don't know though. I got I got things that need to be done other than playing Hollow Knight too, so Take that into consideration. Probably I'll stream tomorrow night, though. Um, and maybe do one of the uh, community things. Either the vanilla randomizer. Vanilla randomizer. Uh, plain randomizer or the rando bingo. Okay, and I th I'm pretty sure... So, like, these... Um, I'm just going to do six of these on each nail, regardless of the nail. I'm hoping I'll fit six on every nail. Yeah, that'll, it'll be close on the pinky. It'll be really close on the pinky and it'll be short on the thumb. But the rest of the nails, it should be pretty, I think it should be pretty good. <clears throat> Yeah, and with the, I mean, I was beyond thrilled with that Watch Nights fight. Like, I was... I was on edge. I was stressed out. I was in concentration mode. But, like, I, I kind of expected more. Just because a lot of the stuff, it's like, I don't know. It really is different when there's a timer going, I guess, because there's so much of that stuff that I do on a regular basis in rando, and I don't think twice about it. I don't remember if you were still there when I got to Hornet 2 in the All Skills run. And that was supposed to be my time save. And, uh... <laughs> no time save happened at all. It was horrible. It was horrible. I, I died a lot to Hornet. And I've, I've, I've had some randos where I've had to go after her with piddly, piddly magic. And like no shaman stone, yeah. I I got the. I mean, you know, in all skills, I've got upgraded fireball. I've got upgraded dive. It shouldn't be a problem. It was a huge problem. <laughs> Rolled himself right off the stuff. Lost his uh, lost his place under the blanket. So yeah, I still really big. I mean, huge huge improvements need to be made in both those categories for me. So it's okay though. I'm more, I'm, like I said, I was disappointed with the any percent, even though it was a PB, I was much more disappointed with the end, with the all skills. But maybe by the next time I run it, I'll know how to do the spike skip. And that would be, I mean, that would be a huge time save. And then I wouldn't have to worry about that, uh, the gauntlet, the gauntlet to Isma's just screwed me right over Amethyst. I got hit by an enemy I had already killed. It was not fair. It was super, super bullshitty, in my opinion. And then, of course, I was benched. I, I hadn't even benched. I was, I, and I died, and I ended up back at fucking Hera. Or not Hera. Uh, Lurian. So you gotta stay out from under the covers unless you're fully engulfed in a bed, would be Beanie's advice, if he were awake to give advice move these so people can see your cute little face yeah look at that oh look at that cute face <laughs> okay oops Like, okay. I'm I'm just trying to think of how this is gonna be 
reach wise when I'm on camera I kind of want to pull these more all of these more over here this we could probably keep here this we can probably keep here actually what if I what if I scooted all this stuff over like all this stuff and then went like this yeah this will be better this will yeah okay I think that's I think that's a better way to go Oh, he's really tucking up in there. Let's get the... Oh. Oh. <laughs> that actually was great. Sorry for anybody who does not like the, the crack ASMR. <sighs> I'm nervous. All right. No, no point in delaying. <clears throat> As you saw, I cleaned up a little bit around the edges and then used a coat of Seche Vite to speed up the dry time. These are pretty much completely dry now and it's time to add the nail vinyls, which I have already prepped by painstakingly removing the small droplet portion of the vinyl from each one. Um, as you can see, I've taken the normal vinyl and cut it into three pieces and I'm gonna use a strip down the center of my nail for each of these and I'm gonna line it up so that the top droplet is at the top of my nail and apply them on all my nails mm. see this one may be a problem do you see how we have the vinyls still stuck on the side <clears throat> we'll see We'll see if it turns out to be an issue or not. See that one, it left more of them behind. But we've still got some that are... Oh, I'm nervous. <gasps> okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. that's not even and eyeballing it also um like to get it centered on your nails when the strips that I cut are not even is a little bit of a challenge get oh would you just stick I feel like these are all slightly crooked. There. There. That's better. And of course you can replace them. There's no rule. Oh, that's still crooked. What am I talking about? That's still super crooked. Hmm. I'm probably going to have to just adjust these off camera because the camera angle is too weird or the angle to get myself on camera. I think the pinky is pretty good. I think... <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Maybe I should be sticking them on my skin instead of on paper. Hmm? Can I get you last couple off? If I stick you on my skin? No. <laughs> no. No, I can't. Hmm. I feel like these are just going to look really dumb if I don't get them centered. That's better. All right, that that one. It's weird. It looks very off center from certain angles and then it looks no, we this is this is off center. It needs to go like like that. And this one. And when you're d working with vinyls, like the placement is, I'm going to go ahead and say like damn near the most important thing. So take your time, get them exactly where the hell you want them to be. Mm. This thumb is actually okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm pressing these down so good. I hope this is as dry as we think it is. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> you know what I should have done well it's too late now it's not that big of a deal I mean I could I could see this would have been a good opportunity for uh leaving myself notes with matte top coat and then you, once you finish with your glossy top coat everything's invisible I don't remember what exactly I did that on, but it was very useful as like a guide that would not like show up later. Okay. We'll just, we're just going to go for it. <clears throat> you can replace your vinyls as long as they're still sticky in order to get them placed exactly where you want them. And then I have a small detail brush. I'm going to be going directly into the bottles of polish and trying to work quickly since I'm working with multiple colors. And I'm basically going to do one droplet in each color for each nail. All right, so we're starting with the pink. Uh, now we're going to do the blue. That's a lot. That's a lot of blue. It's okay, though. Just trying to take some of it off with the brush. Got a hair in there, too. All right, green. yellow teal it's not enough teal shit Feel like that's still a little bit light, but I don't want to go back again because we gotta hurry here. Whoa. Okay. 
Okay, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, green, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? No! What the fuck? Okay, somehow that's okay. Somehow that's okay. Can you guys... You see the green is still solid on there? What did I do wrong with the green? <gasps> and then we can just grab these off of here too. You guys, that made me so paranoid. Well, no, paranoid's not the right word. There's a tiny, tiny... We'll, we'll mess with that later. The lesson here is, like, a lot of polish, but not too much. The green and the blue both almost fucked me. Alright, next... Not too much blue this time. Yellow. It's not enough yellow. Not enough yellow. You could also use a dotting tool for this. I feel like a dotting tool could be um, difficult to get into the tail of the droplet neatly. Okay, purple. Whoa. It gets dry and gets stringy quite fast. This is this is kind of more of a challenge than I thought, you guys. It's like a delicate balance between using enough polish to have everything opaque, not too much where it blobs over and almost creates like a bubble, not too little where it dries too fast. <sighs> I like it though. It's 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 looking like how I wanted it to look. It's just I mean this is excuse me, a little bit tougher than I expected. And like a part of me thinks I should have done even more testing. Um like I know generally speaking you're supposed to remove nail vinyls. Um, while it's wet, I feel like with these, like they're so weird that like having it dry might almost be okay, might almost be like a benefit. But when I have nail vinyls, I'm always kind of hesitant to experiment too much because I don't want to waste vinyls. You know what I mean? I wish I could figure out a better way to do this for the camera too than having to like reach over every time, but like I don't have a I don't have a third arm. That might have been too much. What just fell? Something just fell. Come on, come on, come on. 
look at this do you see the yellow and the green you see how they're like solid on the peeled you see that i don't i've not had this particular experience with nail vinyls before now granted i'm not like a nail vinyl pro i don't use these things super frequently but this seems very weird to me oh it's a paper clip it doesn't matter oh i would pet them if i wasn't in the middle of you know like a crisis no it's not a crisis it's actually going very well there's a couple little small spots that need some cleanup but uh it's it's overall going pretty well it's like too much paint it's it's getting the right amount of polish on the brush the initial right amount seems like it plays a huge part in just like the time it takes getting it to fill in there neatly and then getting it to peel up neatly like I just want like the smallest little bead you see that little bead of polish kind of apply it right in the round drag it out a little bit and move on to the next color that's not enough yellow and their formulas are just slightly different so they're all just like slightly slightly different size droplets that you really want And can you imagine if I was trying to work off of a palette with this? Like trying to dot out each color, trying to... I'm here little tiny pieces it's so cute I love it <laughs> you know what it almost kind of looks like when you just isolate them like this is little multicolored braids like if I'd just done three colors like imagine the yellow where the blue is and the green where the purple is and the turquoise where the pink is that would be really really cute Oh man, some of these, uh, let me show you these again. You see how they're like solid on there? Like I'm really lucky that I didn't lose fully any droplets on the nail. Like they're still all droplety. I have a couple, like I've got a couple little spots to clean up. We'll do that once we finish all the nails. A couple little uneven spots. Ooh. Oh no, I dropped it. I was just trying to put it in phone jail. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry for the interruption. Thank goodness that wasn't during the tutorial. That would have pissed me off. Okay. Um, you guys like this view or do you want like a wider view so you can see me like messing around with the bottles? I mean, it's not really super, super interesting. In fact, would the wide view even? No, even the wide view wouldn't quite capture it. So we'll just stay like this. Basically, I have the bottles all lined up like right here, here, right, right there. And I'm just here. I'll, I'll show you on one, like taking the stem out and literally just like getting that little bit of polish. Like when I'm only working with that much, like I said, it would have seemed really silly to be trying to mess around dotting out small amounts on a lid or working on a palette. Because these, especially as quickly as these seem to be getting, you know what these would probably be good for is uh, spun sugar nail art. Because some polishes can take 
quite a while to really get to a good um, sponge sugar consistency. And the way these are behaving right now, I feel like they would get there pretty quickly. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just feels like that. That's still a little bit too much. Another way to do this that might be easier. I, I don't know how the rules apply. Is doing these. Um, as decals on your mat. I wonder if you'd have as much trouble. Or doing um, decals on a stamper. I have not ever tried stamping or stampering nail vinyls. Um, like using the stamp to do the the this part on. Am I making sense? Um I wonder if it would possibly peel cleaner. And I don't think I should be peeling like super fast either. Like I feel like I don't I don't feel like that would help. I felt I feel like that would maybe even be detrimental. Like that might even make this worse. This this thing that's happening. And some of my nails, you saw I had a lot more problems with these little leftover pieces that I didn't bother pulling out beforehand than others. Um Yeah, I don't know what to do about that other than like literally de desperm them prior to trimming them which I could have done but I I don't know I didn't come on please oh, come on please oh my god get out of my please come on there this little fucker <sighs> Guess what, you guys? Now we get to do it all again on the other hand. Ball, ball, ball. <sighs> oh, like a like a fan brush gradient of it? That would probably be pretty cool. I liked... I would like to do something else with the gradient of these. If anybody's just joining us, we did do like a couple very quick little tests. Excuse me, the individuals versus the uh, sponged. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I re I really like those. The purple definitely needs a couple layers of sponging, though. Which, like I said, doing multiple multiple layers of anything when involved with nail vinyls is kind of iffy. I've got a bunch of these just piled up right here. Let's take these and put them on this napkin. Um. Yeah. Let's do the other hand. And then we'll do a little bit of cleanup and then we'll do top coat. Okay, so for this hand, what we're going to do is reverse the design. And you're thinking, how do you reverse a nail vinyl? Well, you can't always. But in this case, because the design, where are we here where you can see me? Because the design alternates every other side. Just instead of lining up this very top one at the top of my nail, I'm just going to line up that second one. So, how, how am I going to... This is horribly awkward. I mean, what else is new, but... Oh. Okay, actually, let's... Okay, what if I do like this? What if I do like this, and then I do like this? This is better. So. Dang it, maybe actually, actually, maybe just my fingers are better instead of a tweezer in this case. Is that pretty centered? That's really close to the tip. It's, that's fine though. Okay, we'll just use these to peel and then we'll apply with our fingers. Okay. Actually, let's not forget about the pinky. Just And instead of like trying to line up the vinyl because the vinyls are not 
Um, like they don't have even edges because of the way that I cut them. So I can't like center the whole vinyl on my nail. I'm looking at the little squiggly line that runs between the droplets as my center line and using that to try and center the design. Godzilla. Maybe some dinosaur names too. I know you said he was into those. Din Godzilla is kind of dinosaurish. But a lot of, I remember having a lot of trouble with dinosaur names, but also being really proud when I could say them. Because there's, you know, mostly like multi, multi, multi syllabic. I changed my mind. I do want to change that one on my, on my ring finger. It's too close to the tip. No, that's crooked. No, that's really crooked. Okay. Yeah, the static electricity is also a struggle with nail vinyls. I know I'm not telling you anything. Anybody that's ever used nail vinyls, this is not news. There. See that? That's pretty straight. Okay, I want to adjust this one. I decided it's too close to the tip of the nail. So let's... Dang it. I'm going to have to get these now. Mm-hmm. Uh, unexpected struggles. Okay. Uh, these little tiny ones are the hardest to get off. That actually left a dent. I need to be very mindful. But, you know, we didn't we didn't have any peel off base coat vinyl combination mishaps. That's a blessing. We didn't have any vinyls pulling up my polish at all mishaps. That's a blessing. Yes, that is Clark boofing away. I don't know what he's boofing at. Probably boofing at the rain and wishing the sun would come back. He's such a he's such an outside boy. He loves just laying directly in the sun. That's so crooked. Oh, gee, thanks. Now you want to come off. Yeah. Yeah. Have you let him see the uh the Jurassic Park movies yet, Amethyst? Or, well, those, those are kind of scary, maybe. I don't know. I was just thinking because they're dinosaurs, but that might be too scary. Or maybe it doesn't even count as scary anymore because it's so old. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Like, every time I readjust this, another one decides to fall off. And I need to just, like, get this in a good spot before I lose, like, every bit of stickiness that it has. there there you know what we're, we're, we're just gonna go with it if it still bothers me after i'm done with the last couple nails maybe i'll readjust it again oh yeah we practically laughed at the rest of it you weren't allowed to watch jumanji i'm a, i don't know if i've ever actually seen the whole jumanji but I could see how that could be one of those things where kids could get scared because they could like almost think it was real because of the way it was presented, especially at the time. It seemed like it had super good. Okay, why? These two nails that curve, I swear to God, I look at them one direction and it's straight and I look at it the other direction and it's like, are you tripping? Are you tripping? Mm. Okay. you know what you know what point we just reached you guys long time viewers will know 
I I almost feel like even maybe a look came across my face that will become like a well known look. It's the, God damn it! I'm ready to be done with this manicure look. This this actually won't take that long. This is like the longest part of what's remaining. It's just getting these things on here straight. Can I maybe just like nudge you a little bit like that? Okay, guess what? You know what? No, everything's fine. We're just going to accept this and we're going to move forward with this. Make sure they're all well pressed. I didn't get barely any... Oh, that was close. I didn't get barely any uh, bleeding underneath the vinyls. Um, the couple issues that I have on this hand, like right... Oh, of course, I forgot we're not on autofocus. I see at the tip right there. That's from the way the polish was getting real stringy when I was peeling up the vinyls. And this is the other bonus of having used Sacheviet to speed up dry time is that we have a protection barrier so that we can go in there and we can make changes and it should be okay. All right, so I need to, let's stick this down here. I need to readjust all this so that I can do it left-handed. Let's just move this and maybe I can leave the bottles as they are. Yeah. <clears throat> oh no. Um, can, can you still hear me, Amethyst? Hopefully a refresh will fix it. Okay, so again, like for this, we, we have the, the top drop hanging off the end of our nail so that we can mirror the design on my opposite hand because it's how I roll. And so we just need to remember that as we're going along. Part of like how I have the bottles laid out is like in the order that I'm applying them. So like I had them all laid out, you know, pink, pink to yellow. I kind of staggered them since I'm going down one side and up the other. Um, and if you're just joining us, we're doing that because the yellow and the purple were the pickiest colors during our testing. So saving them for closer to last seems to be working. I mean, it may, there, there are obviously other factors at work here also. <clears throat> okay, fix now. As long as it's not taking too long to fix. Seems like it's been a lot of twitch issues lately. All right, and again, we're just trying to get like a moderately sized droplet. I don't know if this is the best angle. It's actually kind of a weird angle. I don't know if I can paint in this detail. Well, let's see. I mean, it's not exactly detail. This is kind of weird though. Like it, it makes sense to start at the round top part of the uh, droplet, which is kind of not how I would normally like draw on my nail. I don't know which feels better. They both feel weird and very awkward. Ugh. Okay, gotta remember to just go quickly to, I don't wanna get too distracted with just trying to fill things in. Those other things are starting to dry. If I'd had more testing time too, I probably would have tested if it's better to try and like, quote unquote, paint inside the lines of the vinyl or like just slop all around. But as it is, we're kind of just a little bit of flying by the seat of our pants. Oh, I don't like that one. But we need to we need to finish up this nail. Okay. Um shit. Fill in right there, please, purple. This purple is the weirdest consistency 
Okay. Please. Oh. You see the blue? I mean, it's still there on the pinky. I don't know. I don't knew. Uh. Oh, okay. I thought that for sure messed up the blue. It did leave a little bit. Can you see the... It's got like a stringer coming off the top of it. There. That's better. Oh, hey, Luke. <laughs> Nail art and drugs can be addictive, yes. Look, Amethyst, your heart and my heart are beating at probably the same speed right now. We are I don't I don't think I can say we're wrapping up yet, Luke. We're on to my my second hand. But man, this shit is so putsy. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> it's the nicest thing butt spot knows how to say <laughs> all right next and this like i find myself with horrible horrible posture not just because i'm trying to get in for detail work but because i'm trying to see where i'm dipping the brush into the polish you know with the ring light in the way and everything I don't know. I should have like an after stream stretching routine or something. Okay. I just, I moved my, my ass stone back if you noticed, because really I'm painting with my left hand but everything else because of the way i'm doing this uh out of the bottles i'm still basically doing with my right hand or can be done with my right hand so and the like a lot of times vinyls you have a lot of leeway where you can paint and still not go out of the lines because these are separated by such thin uh portions you don't quite have that leeway, so you do have to be like a little bit neater with that. Okay. Um, teal. That's too much. I am very, very pleased with the colors that I chose. I'm glad that I cut out the uh, the limon. Because I feel like that these are all bright, but that would have been just a little bit too on the neon side. With the yellow included, because the yellow is a little bit more muted. So I'm pleased with that decision at least. Okay. Maybe from this angle too, you guys can see more of the stringiness as I peel it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at how gross it is. But it pe it's still neat on the nail for the most part. Could you guys see that stringiness? I hope you could. I like. It's hard sometimes. Like I want to see how the camera is capturing something, but I also need to like actually look at what I'm doing. But I think you should have been able to see what I've been talking about from that angle better than the other angle because you were kind of on the underside of where I was peeling the vinyl okay trying to get this one without screwing things up hello okay it's fine see some people that have like animals that like like to do yoga with them hmm. dino hello dino dino did you see what i did oh 
helpful. Hello, it is tense. Dino, did you see what we did on top of the smooshy? Yeah. Of course, this camera doesn't do it justice. Anybody that missed out, this was our last manicure. We did a smooshy and then we topped it off with hollow and this awesome duo chrome stamping polish. <laughs> this this manicure is being a struggle right here just because i don't know this i i've never had this particular struggle with vinyls and i think whoa okay don't put my foot there because that is not closed or close it so i can put my foot there like that i think partly it's because the designs are so small i think partly it's because i'm working between so many colors <clears throat> but we're just having like all all kinds of weirdness but it's working out like these are really cute <clears throat> hey sacrista thank you <coughs> all right we have three more nails to go and uh i i will say i do not particularly like working this way as far as uh, detail painting directly out of the bottle i much prefer having like a little palette but i do think that this was the right call to make for this particular set of circumstances is this there wow i got like all kind of beanie hair and shit stuck on this one my apologies i don't know when that happened probably i was i don't know like there's anywhere in this room without beanie hair <laughs> that's a little bit too much oh that's not quite enough now Oh, no, that's not where that goes. Shit. Okay, paint this. And then... Then we'll deal with the accidental blue that we just got on the thumb. It's fine. It's not... It's, like, not ideal, but it's fine. That's too much. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's too much. Okay. Can't go too slow. Gotta go fast. Can't let things dry. Can't use too much polish. This is how people must feel about water marbling. Like, huh, huh, you know, <laughs> gotta hurry. Gotta work before the polish dries. Like, I'm mostly past that for water marbling, but... I feel it in other nail art techniques often. Okay, that's like a little bit too much. Because there are a lot of nail art techniques where you can pretty much take your time. And then there are some where it's like time is of the fucking essence, dude. Okay. I'm gonna peel this one from that same angle so you guys can see again the gooberness that's going on here. Okay. Um, let's get these little extra babies off. <gasps> Whoa, okay. Nail vinyls. I mean, I don't know. There's got to be a, a way to, like, have them separate the way they're fucking supposed to. Maybe I should check YouTube. I swear, though, like, I've seen it before, but, like, all the ways that other people say, like, don't work for me. Okay, so, uh, clean Q-tip. Um, more acetone. A little drag marble on the side. Dino been here five minutes. She's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Everything is fine. It applies so well to both Hollow Knight and to nail polish. So when I was messing with that blue and I didn't have quite the right amount, I managed to glom it on my thumb here. I'm just going to... There. Everything's fine. Uh, Sesh Feet protected it. And we should be good to go. 
two more nails left. <laughs> no way, Dino. Well, for one thing, our base is fully dry, including sesh feed. Well, I mean, we're going to do more sesh feed, but... Also, this the, the whole thing with this is sim, sim, simplism? That's not the right word. Simplicity? Um... I don't, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. Like I said, it could, it could be looked at many different ways. It kind of looks like a braid. Kind of looks like sperm. According to what's up, they're droplets. Oh, man. I can't imagine. Well, I kind of can. But can you guys imagine if I decided to do this, like, on the whole nail? Then we would have just had to gone with the gradient. I don't, I don't think I'd have the patience to do a full nail of this. I mean, like, a full manicure of full nails of all this. Oh, that would have been so cute. I should have done one, I should have done an accent nail that was all a whole bunch of this. Like, a full nail of this. Oh well. Too late. Too late. Some of these like to form a nice little bead more than others. And some are like, you either have too much or not enough. So like I'll blob some on the nail and then like blob some off on my little napkin. That seems to help. And then just pull it down to make sure that bottom of the tail is filled in. And doubtful. I know before you were impressed with the with the stamping. These nail vinyls are another nail artist secret for appearing to know how to draw good. <laughs> I would say stamping is easier than nail vinyls, but it's a it's a personal preference which you're better at. <laughs> yeah they could be little rainbow tears pastel paisley that would be a little alliterative spring pastel paisley tears <laughs> god I, ha I have over 800 youtube videos is the thing and it's like after a certain point it's like trying to come up with a cute or clever name is just fucking exhausting but then sometimes if you just try to be descriptive the name just comes out just sounding absurd or it's like too long. The other day, for the first time in a very long time, I went to save my, my edits on my video after working on the metadata and I got the error message that my title was too long because <laughs> it was one of the live stream archives and I was trying to like include everything in the title. I think I wanted to call it like, um, you know... I think it was the one where there was swatching and there was polish testing and it was an extended t tutorial. And I was just trying to like cover all the bases and it was like, your title is too long. <laughs> pastel spring, pastel spring salmon sperm. I don't know why I decided they're salmon sperm other than that we decided they were swimming up river or I, I decided they were swimming up river. <laughs> All right, one more on the thumb here. I do I do really love this collection though. Little struggles aside and a few inconsistencies with the formula. If you are looking for like your your spring color palette, these are great. These are really great. Oh man, can you see how much my hand is shaking? Somehow the brush can be steady. Like if you maintain like this between looseness and tension, like your hand can be shaking and the brush can almost be steadier than your hand. Does that even make sense? Like if I just hold my hand above it, you see how I'm sh kind of shaking? But if I like rest the brush a little bit, 
it gets a little steadier. It's still shaky. But I don't know. It's hard to anticipate when I'm going to be shaky or not. So you kind of got to just learn to deal with it for nail art. It's not too bad. And the purple. Whoa, that's way too much purple. Just drippy right there. How about that? Okay. Mm, okay. <sighs> Look at the yellow, the green, the blue, and the pink. Or the teal and the pink, not the blue. Almost the blue and the purple, too. Literally every single one of those was almost a disaster. Oh. Oh, tiny, tiny decal leftovers. Like the tiniest of tiny ones. They're like lint sized. Lint sized decal leftovers. There's a band name for you. Okay. Get out from under my nail. I'm not trying to top coat you into me. Get out of there. Okay. Let's close these polishes before anything happens with that. Mermaid scales. I have a scales vinyl. And I want to use it with foils. I don't know when or how. Hangry. Sausage and roasted Brussels and you're happy again. Bro roasted is the only acceptable way to eat Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I mean, then you, you see exactly what it is, son. Okay. Um, I think maybe we'll use one of these little babies. Maybe this guy. Maybe this guy. Um, sometimes for like this kind of little tiny small cleanup, I prefer something other than my normal cleanup brush. <laughs> yeah, Krista, I suppose that's true. Except for the dumb ones. What movie was that? Is it, uh, old, old movie. It starts out with the sperm, like talking to each other. <laughs> East. Yeah. I got Easter bunny jizz on my nails. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> yes. Tino. Yes, son. Thank you. Okay, I'm really looking at what of this needs to be addressed. What of this can maybe be addressed with these little tiny tweezers. So you guys saw how it was like getting stringy as I was pulling it. So... A lot of these nails have little strings like looking at them in profile and I know the camera is like not gonna there you see that little yellow bit that's not flat with the nail and that profile angle little strings like that all over the nails and some of them are pressed flat to the nail and some of them are still sticking up oh no I got this thing stuck on there get off of there so the ones that are still sticking up, I can kind of go in and like grab that little snag. That sounds bad. But like grab it and pull it off rather than having to clean up on it. And then maybe like pat them, pat them flat a little bit. Because we're mostly dry now, at least over here on the left hand. These dried quickly. Some of these are more stick-uppy than others. Stick-uppy? Technical term. Um, ugh, These little fucking, I don't even know what you call them, the leftovers. They're sticking everywhere. And a couple of these actually are going to need to be 
clean up though. Clean up, cleaned, cleaned, cleaned up. Sorry if you heard that. That was my Fitbit telling me to get up and move because it's approaching the top of the hour and I have not stepped 250 steps this hour. Guess what, Fitbit? I can't do that when I'm streaming. Alright, get this little bit off and this. Okay. Oh, there's so many. They're all the same. It's the same basic, basic thing. I mean, really, wasn't it just basically like the exact same story told again? <laughs> like, ain't nothing new going on. How is this a sequel? <laughs> but that was like, that had like an 80 super crew of people in it, though, didn't it? I'm trying to remember who was all in it, aside from, I want to say, uh, Bill Murray. I don't know. Let's do this little bit of cleanup. This pink, this pink one that is most bothersome is not just hanging up. It is on the nail, so I do have to clean it up. Um, um, <laughs> I thought I knew what I wanted to say, and then I was like, uh. Kirstie Ellen. Okay, yes. I know Bill Murray was in Ghostbusters. Wasn't he in one of those too, though? Bruce Willis. Is, man, I I may be mixing my ancient '80s movies, you guys. Not with Ghostbusters though. With something else. I mean, Ghostbusters and Look Who's Talking don't. <laughs> Other than the. Uh, Are you Zul? And then they like get to making some babies. <laughs> okay, let me stop. <clears throat> um, before I peeled the vinyls off of their backing, I was mostly worried about the design I would be using. So you saw I did have a few extra pieces that stuck on after I peeled them up. I also had a few areas that got a little bit stringy and left some mess behind. So I'm going to be going in with a very small brush dipped in acetone to just clean up any of those little strings that were left behind. Is that a good explanation, you guys? I think it was okay. There. Just these little tiny... Like your eye, it's, a, it's another situation where your eye almost doesn't catch it. Like your eye doesn't understand what looks wrong, but once you fix it, then it looks cleaner. Just making sure that there is definition and distinction between each of the droplets. And smooth out any little weird edges which for the most part I mean there there really aren't very many problem issues for as stringy and weird as this stuff was peeling I'm surprised I'm greatly surprised there were not more issues Um, this one is looking kind of weird, but I think it's just, it's very uneven. Sesh feet should help to level everything out. Not sure how well that translates on camera either. Ooh. Um, get this little bitty bit. All right. That's that. And shit, my battery needs to be changed. I don't want to risk running out of battery in the middle of top coat. So I'm going to have to switch it up. Whoa, that was close.
Maybe that's what I'm getting it confused with. Uh, Ted, with the three men and a baby. Wait, the golden child? What was that? I missed, I missed. I feel like I know that movie, but not well. The golden child. It sounds familiar at least. Oops. I guess I should like turn this off before I like change the battery. That probably would be a good plan. And use tools. Okay, so like I love that the, the, the battery stays in there nicely. This is such a hassle with wet nails. So let's use a tool. There we go. Working camera equipment with semi-dry nails. And I always got to take off the mount because you got to take off the mount to access the damn battery panel. That's kind of a pain in the butt. I wonder, it'll be interesting to see how long my battery lasts once I start using this as a webcam or capturing this video or however you want to put it. Because I would imagine that a lot of the battery goes to, um, you know, the, the view screen. So if I'm, you know, got it hooked up and the view screen is not off, I'm hoping that will extend the battery life and I don't have a problem where the batteries won't last as long as I want to stream. We'll have to see. Maybe by Saturday. Depends on how quick Amazon is and, and how much trouble I have um, getting this actually all set up. What am I? Oh, I'm rolling on my sweater. That's why it's very difficult to roll. <clears throat> <laughs> butt spot please you are in fine form tonight aren't you <laughs> what doubtful is this a, is this a real thing Okay, see, like, now, this is, if I'd been watching TV, maybe I would know this, like, if I was watching Entertainment Tonight or something. But, uh, I, I was, un how, how do you even make a sequel to that? Arsenic 2, is that a movie? Is Arsenic a movie? I don't know. I'm sorry, I have to go look at this immediately. Man, well, it's, it still says pre-production though, not actual production. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, Arsenio. <laughs> That makes much more sense now. Of course. I'm like, Arsenic? Is this some, some other movie from the same era that I'm unfamiliar with? I mean, I did not get to see a ton of movies, like, as a kid. Like, I love the hell out of Coming to America, but... I mean, I don't... I never saw that when it came out. I didn't see that in the theaters. I'm, I'm sure I didn't see it until it came to TV. Boy, Arsenio would b better hope he, he's in there. What else the hell is he doing? <laughs> Luke, yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think that sums it up very nicely, Luke. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't understand how you, like what? Oh, his son grew up and maybe, okay, maybe he had a child with the, with the lady and the child is the opposite. The child wants to be royalty and he sends him to America as punishment to live as a pleb. That's that's my guess. Otherwise, I fucking don't even know. Like, you can't just do the same thing and, like... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> the Jewish guys are good. He had a lot of little weird side characters in that. 
Let's, uh, I've got some weird polish and weird spots here. Let's just clean some of this off here. And then we're going to top coat, you guys. This also gives this super thick stamping a minute to dry a bit less than stamping. Did I just call it stamping? Um, the last thing I want is for this shit to smear when I top coat. I'm just doing a couple other little edge areas that I noticed could use a slight bit more attention. All right, and then we'll top, we'll top coat, and then I'll see if there's some place to send you guys. And then, oh God, it is eight o'clock. I was thinking it was about seven o'clock. Um, that was, I guess, optimistic thinking. I didn't realize I'd been struggling with this for quite this long, but I guess it makes sense because we didn't even apply the vinyls until 6.30. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my bad. <laughs> um, seeing that, I'd say less likelihood of me squeezing in a Hollow Knight stream after dinner, because like, I always feel weird if I'm starting a stream at like 10 o'clock. Every now and then I'll do a super late stream. But it's always like a little bit weird because I know most of you guys have like adult schedules where you uh, don't stay up until all hours of the wee morning. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Dino. Does your idea perhaps involve something like this? <laughs> I actually do not have Northern Lights. I do, I do have this. I considered using the other one, the non-flaky one, over the white. But I changed my mind. I'm sorry. I see one more thing I need to fix here. <laughs> I'm so I know I'm such a disappointment to Dino. There. That's oh god, is this a beanie here like encapsulated in there? It's okay. Alright. <clears throat> Are your tears hollow? I won't tell you about all the other things that I considered doing that did involve hollow then. <laughs> okay, we're we're going to top coat this. This this is actually we did such minimal testing for this. This is 95% what I had in my head. Like it, it turned out how I wanted. Really really. Let me get a Where where is your focus camera? Is this that's not changing at all? Cancel. Go in here. Go in here. And then go over here. There we go. It's really gonna. You can kind of see like on the pinky here, you see how some of those, there we go. They're kind of dimply and uneven. Top coat's gonna fix all that. <clears throat> yeah, well, we're not quite a rainbow because we left out the orange kind of intentionally, but we're, we're gonna, I mean, this, I hope you guys are not sick of these colors because I'm not done with these yet. I maybe should stick in like some of the oil slicks or something in between, but I just am really, I'm enjoying the hell out of this collection. Um. <laughs> Dino. What are we? Oh, we're kind of, there we go. If every manicure was hollow, would you really appreciate it as much? <clears throat> Finally, I'm going to finish everything off with a top coat. And as usual, 
I'm using sesh feet. Mm, time to glom it on. This coat needs to be nice and glommy to make sure to smooth out any of those lumps. Mm, top coat. And if it makes you feel any better, Dino, the white is a shimmer white. It's not just a plain white. I know it's not hollow, but it's it's not a completely cream manicure. The the shimmer adds a bit of zhuzh. Zhuzh it up. Zhuzh? Zhuzh. Zhuzh? Zhuzh it up? The thumb looks really crooked to me right now, but, you know, deal withable. I wish I should write to What's Up Nails and be like, I wish you had a vinyl that was this instead of having to cut this out of the droplets one. Because I really do think it could be used to make a really cool, like, like I said, just do it with three colors and make it a, turn it into a braid. We've got a couple bubbles coming up here. We might have to do a second coat of top coat. I'll, I'll see if it settles out in a minute here. Because Sesh V, I, I don't remember if I told you guys. You remember when we were doing the... Uh, um, The fuck was that duochrome called from the oil slicks? Burnt out. And I like really badly smudged my pinky. It was completely like wrinkled on the side. And I decided to just say screw it and just top coat it and moved along. It didn't instantly fix it. But when I looked at it like a couple hours later, I could not tell where the smudge was. Seshvit had really like worked wonders on this smudge. It was it was pretty good. Oh, it's so sweet. I hope this lasts until Valentine's Valentine's Day. Easter. <laughs> I mean, it's not that far away. The other one wore really good. The last manicure. Hmm. Or what's that, uh, what was that song? Uh, 90s. Dun, dun, dun. Candy coated raindrops. That's probably not the beat. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. I know you do. <laughs> Your hollow heart is crusted and will not be slain. <laughs> yes, um, there are a couple. I actually have Sunburnt uh, Colors by LaRoe. I think it's called Something About a Unicorn. And it's... I actually haven't used it, but it's two-piece. It's like a, a base and then a very, very pale sheer white hollow. It's kind of freaking cool. But, I mean, like, basically hollow pigment is silver. So whenever you see hollow in another color, it's like... If the hollow is too strong, it starts to look silver. So it has to be somewhat of a weaker hollow, but it's very pretty. I should, I almost use that for this, but I didn't want to be disappointed. I, I should, I should use it. I should swatch it. I should get my shit together, shouldn't I, you guys? The, the, there are three main pieces left for the swatching to begin. I'll, wor I'll work on some more soon. <clears throat> Um, fuck, son. That's an excellent point. <laughs> um, we'll do stamping on this. <clears throat> fuck, I don't know. That's a great point. We could we could just do testing. We could do testing for the oil slick drip drop. 
We'll see. I, I have a feeling, honestly, it's not going to last that long because to have that kind of luck, because I feel like it's just luck, two manicures in a row, I don't... <laughs> yeah, we'll just have a five-minute stream of me putting a hollow top coat on this and then we'll call it a day. <laughs> oh, let me see what's going on in Twitch land. Let me see where there's somewhere I can send you lovely people. Thank you so much for hanging out on the slightly... Like, we, we would have just been starting now. I'm feeling like I'm really glad that I started a little early. And like I said, I'm going to have to kind of reconsider the, the scheduled start time of the Wednesday stream. But all you guys that are in Discord, of course, get updates. If anybody is new here and you'd like to join my Discord, it's open to everyone. Um, stream updates... Um, nail art of all varieties, food, things, sales. We, I am so happy I made that sales channel because we just be putting sales in there all the time. Um, what we got going on here? I think... A lot it's a lot of people on right now oh okay well we gotta go over there i think i was gonna i was gonna send us over to toby because toby's rated me quite a few times and his stream is is really i i love toby's stream it's really fun and he also does giveaways every stream um which is super generous all his tips and donations go toward uh like uh glass giveaway goals but I have just found an even more appropriate place to send us. Wait, is Ninja on? I didn't even see Ninja. I'm tempted to, but... And I, I'll, I'll probably end up over there, but... No, I have, an, I have an even more appropriate place. Because I really... I'm, I haven't been very good about it, and I'm not super consistent with it. But I like rating or hosting creative when I'm doing creative and I like doing games when I'm doing games and sometimes there's some crossover and sometimes there are some people that I cannot resist uh sending to yes son we are going to raid over to caters we are going to have some more nail polish yes well my my list is super full right now I was just like looking through looking for creative stuff um yeah yeah i almost always you can also like at the top it has channels hosts and following or something you can hit channels and it'll take you there too but we're gonna go over to caters um caters hangs out here sometimes too she's part of whatever this community is called that i don't have yeah he's been streaming more often so i feel like it's not like a one-time only opportunity i'm definitely gonna have to pop over there once i finish cleaning up the the disaster area that's just out of camera um, oh wait. I cannot raid this channel. Why can I not raid her? I guess, okay, let's try a host. I apparently cannot host, I apparently cannot raid her. I just noticed that, like, there was no countdown. She must have them turned off. Um, I, I feel like I should turn this into a raid message of some sort, but we're not really raiding, so we really shouldn't have a raid message. But way hosting works is you'll be able to see her video, and if you'd like to go over there, there'll be a thing over, like, above the chat where you can click to go on her channel. And uh, she's doing some swatches, looks like, some OPI swatches. So hosting's always a little bit harder because I, I have to remember not to push the button until I'm actually ready. Thank you all for joining me. I'm glad you like my rainbow sperms. <laughs> They'll be called something more family friendly once they get to YouTube. Um, getting a little bit late to stream tonight, but I might surprise myself if I really just get the urge. Tomorrow night, almost certainly, I'll squeeze in some Hollow Knight. Um, Saturday, we'll be streaming nail art. Um, Sunday is Easter, and um, I'm not sure exactly what what's going to go on with my streaming you know it's the it's going to be the first holiday without my grandma so that's kind of hard but um you know i i'm not sure if i'm going to stream on sunday or not so we'll we'll kind of play that by ear but i will 
hope that, you know, whenever my next stream is, you guys have all the notifications on, and I hope I will see you guys then. And, uh, yeah, if you want to go say hi to Caters, I hope you guys enjoy a little bit more nail polish this evening. <clears throat> Um, YouTube people, I, I, I feel like having an outro helps me at least remember to stop streaming. So, um, YouTube people, of course, if you want to join me, twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP for future live streams, there'll be things, oh God, I almost, there'll be things over here you can click on for more YouTube stuff if that's more your speed. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh rainbow sperm as well and as always thanks for watching <laughs>